Hey guys, this is our first official ride to work on the island, working on the Ambo. So, uh, pretty excited. I had a pretty good rest day yesterday. Um, I still got up and tinkered with the with the uh, stuff I needed to, so um, I was just too excited not to. I uh, changed some passwords, got every, all the systems going, uh, etc, etc. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, we are officially starting the ambo today while well, chrome has already started i was hoping he'd be finished by the time i got here but it's not finished so we got a lot of work ahead of us but it's just going to be such a such a better atmosphere for me to work in uh no interruptions um and chrome is cool chrome is great to work with he is a great person to have on your side as a worker um as a planner as a boss as a whatever so yeah, we are going to go for it, and uh, I will see you at lunchtime. That thing is always dirty. It's a freaking lens. <laughs> hey, big bud, what are you, what the hell you got? What are you got, buddy? <laughs> Look at that face. Look at that face. What are you got, buddy? I'm not going to take it. I'm not going to take it. Oh, you go, buddy. Oh, you the best buddy. Oh, you the best buddy. Oh. Shop lights attached to that cover. Uh, I don't know if they're charged or not. Like they should be.
So screw that. I'm not going to sit there and uh, put my hand up underneath there and figure that out doing a, an eighth of a turn every every time. So we're just going to take off the whole the whole dang thing. And a bit of garlic. It's it's really delicious.
So as you guys just saw, I got the uh, fenders out and unwrapped and prepared and uh, trying to do a little fitment um, just to see what's, what's gonna happen. Um, but you'll see, I'll show you right now. Uh, maybe I should get light. Maybe I'll get a light for you. Maybe I'll get one that works. There we go. So this is what, uh, this is what happens. Um, when they did the four x four conversion, um, they had to cut out a bunch of the fender for, uh, for tires or something going on. But so you can see right here, this has all been cut out and see there's, this is where the, uh, this is also what's happening is right here. So this has all been cut out and modified. So, and this doesn't seem to be lining up as best possible. So what I'm gonna have to do is go back to the dumpster where I threw out the other metal recycling uh, fenders and get those, bring them back, see what they look like to compare both fenders. Um, it's always an issue with trying to fit body parts. So guys, I went and got that, uh, that pair of fenders that I'd thrown in the recycling already. Thankfully they were on top and uh, I just grabbed them and go. That was back in Nanaimo. So anyway, these were modified quite a bit. Um, and this is what happens when you get new parts and modified vehicles, old vehicles, um, a lot of rusty bolts, a lot of drilling out bolts. Um, I'll give you a, a shot of like these, all these trim pieces were all had to be drilled out. All the screws and everything had to be drilled out. The adhesive taken off and etc. All cleaned up, ready for sanding and paint. So uh, this is what this is what I'm talking about when it comes to the fenders. So you can see where all this was modified here. You can see all that's cut off and obviously it's turned rusty. But there's a connection right here. And if we go over here, you can see how much like this was cut off like like all right here just probably for a uh, tire or something something going on I don't I don't really know and you can see that they've actually cut out the rocker as well all the rocker panels so thankfully we do have rockers here um, I'll put the camera down and I'll show you Yo, Doug. What's going on? Oh, shit. Okay, well, uh, are you on your way here now? Okay, okay, well, uh, yeah. See, see you in a few, man. Okay. 